Okay, the good living guide to my medicinal tea, 50 ways to brew the cure for what ails you by Jennifer Brown. So you are getting like, well, this edition, hardcover and a regular size kind of like book. And I love like this dark red. Weird, weird sign up and like you're kind of getting kind of like pretty good type photography so as you can see contents you got part one two three tea tales powerful plants 50 teas for 50 elements and so it doesn't really have like what pages like i'll get this into like a second but what page would be the plant on or the tea kind of thing so and you are getting like introduction information to it some glossary terms so the glossary is kind of like in the front so <clears throat> so this is what I was saying instead of like this being at like the beginning it's right here so the contents like of the herb so the herb and what page it will be on is here at the beginning of the section and you got like this kind of setup which you'll be get getting a little information about about the plant scientific name part used and medicinal uses point form and once in a while you get a picture a few will have like caution yeah so these two like have caution so like, do not use if you have diabetes, a clotting disorder, or a waiting surgery kind of thing. And <clears throat> some will have a green box like this, but another plant, or you get some other type of information. A lot of it is, yeah, like, so another plant or a little bit of extra information and then so or have a splinter kind of thing so that's what you get for <coughs> sorry for the plants and then you get the part three and then you get kind of like an index here, acute, chronic, and random preventative index. So, and then you have another context page. So that's like, this is kind of like one thing that's like, I'm like, it's good, but I would like, I think a, lot, a few, um, a few more people would like me would want this kind of selection up at the front contents like maybe it's just a few more of like some of more the more recent reads that I'm reading where in the contents page they'll have the section and then what they'll have like this underneath that section so like here they'll have it would be like acute and then all the other things and then chronic and then all the things or whatever but the author chose that like this way the contents in that section would be better so you would have to go to that page and then like you would have in like some information here and helpful herbs point formed but it's kind of a little explained there and then you get 
the recipe and you kind of get that so like cough some information suggested herbs not everyone will have like a t um, another paragraph talking about them here but you get that set up a little bit of information herbs and then the recipe so and that continues on for the 50 teas and then after 50 it goes straight into the index so there isn't a conclusion of any sort so get about the author and then all the references so like when you see like numbers beside the sentence you got that so i don't know why i'm explaining that but you got if you want to have like a book like this in your life you, there's uh this option and i'm pretty sure you could with the amount of white space that's in here i'm pretty sure you could add like other teas or whatever to this book whether you physically write in it or like post-it note stuff but yeah so if you want to do more like natural stuff you got a book to look into so i'm pretty sure like a lot of major cities libraries like mine would have this like i got it from mine but i think i lucked out on <laughs> my library with getting this but yeah the good living guide to medicinal tea 50 ways to brew the cure for what ails you by jennifer brown happy readings